How y'all doing today, Facebook? I'm going to give some of y'all time to come on in the room. Come on in, come on in. Come on in, come on in. Okay, I'm going to give y'all some more time to come on in. Glory, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Whoever's watching, how you doing? Share this video, like it. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. I will speak prophetically as the video goes along to whoever the Lord wants me to send a word to, whoever uh, the Lord wants to speak to, because I do believe God wants to speak to whoever's on, online. Um, basically, um, go ahead and get started I want to open up with prayer so I can go ahead and let God have his way Father in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach Lord God I thank you for what you're getting ready to do I thank you for what you're getting ready to use me to speak to expound and to expose so people can ponder upon and receive a revelation that's not like the normal church Father I ask you this day to Speak to the hearts and the minds of the people about prayer, about proper prayer, about what what prayers you hear and what prayers you don't hear. Uh, Lord, I thank you. I ask that you speak to the minds and the hearts and the souls of the people that are watching. Uh, whatever you want to say to them, including the message that you want me to bring forth. I thank you. I give you glory. Let peace be in the atmosphere. Let the anointing rest in the atmosphere. Let the love of y'all flow through me. And let me speak with such clarity where there is no misunderstanding, Father. In the mighty and precious and holy name of Yeshua, the Savior, Hamashiach, the Lord, Christ. Amen. Okay. So first we're going to start out with um, people who pray against other, other marriages uh, or they pray against the people that are within the marriage. Like for instance, if there is a, a couple that is together and they have a destiny together and Yahweh wants to promote them or bring them to the next level or they have potential as being a power couple or they are a power couple but they have potential because none of us have, have arrived um, the enemy would use somebody that's such, such as a preacher or a prophet or an apostle or evangelist or a pastor to pray uh, selfish prayers 
against an individual within the marriage whom they do not like. I'm going to repeat that again. There are ministers, preachers, who are on assignment from the, from the enemy, who are praying against uh, this one or the other, whether it be the woman or the male in the marriage to stop them from connecting or reconnecting if they've been separated because that's how they got separated in the first place. People who've been sowing discord within the marriage. And it, and it, it don't just stop there, but there are people who there are people who have designed a plan and a plot to separate the two by spitting garbage or venom in the ear of one of the spouses that they do not like in order to for them to have a picture a picture in their eyesight in their imagination in their soul is real in their heart in their mind that the spouse that Yah has already spoken to them, watch what I'm telling you now. Yah has already spoken to the spouse that is receiving the ungodly counsel about their about their spouse. So what does this cause? This causes discord within the spouse from outside of the spouse to hate or dislike or disconnect or refuse or deny or neglect the other spouse that's the agenda the motive of Satan in this hour to separate chief friends the Bible says that whisperers separate chief friends okay I'm exposing me right now not that I'm doing this but I'm exposing me when I say I'm exposing me the couple that I'm speaking of is my couple but as, as I expose this, you will also begin to see that there are other spouses, other couples who are going through the exact same thing, and they don't know how to stop it. For, for a long time, I didn't have the revelation that I have today. But there are people who have not repented, who have not give God, given God a yes. They have not completely given their lives to Christ. They have not... They have done, I hear the Lord saying, they have done foolishly in my sight, son. I hear him say, workers of iniquity. They are planning to move. But they won't move. That's the end result of what God is going to do. Now, I'm going to speak the truth. Everybody knows that I'm connected to V. Brown Spurgeon, Valencia Brown. There are a lot of people who dislike our connection because they don't like who I am. And they figure since she's available enough to hear and to receive from those, of those people who are speaking ill-advisedly in her ear, they're going to continue to speak in her ear to get her to ter terminate the assignment or, th or dismantle the anointing that's on her own life. There are people who are connected to her that are in Florida, that are in Miami, in surrounding areas or all across the United States that know me because they know that I'm married to her. They have put their mouths on me to her. And they've gone in secret places to pray at a service in church. To pray for her, thinking that, quote unquote, thinking that they're praying for her. They are praying for her for me to be disconnected from her. They are praying for her for her eyes to be open and see that I'm not the man that God has given her. 
when in fact God has already spoken to her and given her clarification word in her own phone Yah has spoken to her personally and told her that I'm purpose for her and she's purpose for me but see when the enemy can get in your ear and get Eve when the serpent can get in Eve's ear and get her to disregard what was already spoken from the authority over her then she's going to say the enemy tricked her The enemy don't have no power except we give it to him. I'm not on Facebook Live to badmouth my marriage. That's not what I'm doing. But I'm on Facebook Live because the Lord has, has given me the permission to expose what is going on with my marriage and why it's taking so long for us to reconnect. So God right now is doing a work in process. He's working on me and he's working on her. But at the same time, in the midst, this is what I found out. In the midst of our reconnection and our disconnection, and our separation, there have been and there are, there's, I hear, there still are, says the Holy Spirit. There are people who are connected to my wife, Valencia Brown, that are secretly praying for me to be removed from the marriage. Now, the Lord is telling me to tell those of you, now this ain't for everybody that's watching, but he's, he, this, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase it. I'm going to say just what he told me. He said that the people who are praying these, praying such prayers, he said, I am not hearing them. I am not hearing them. Now see, as I said that, the air conditioner just cut on. So, maybe just the air comes to cool you, cool you off. So, what am I saying? You need to chill. <laughs> Take a chill pill. Um, but yeah, the Lord said he's not hearing those prayers. There are people in America and there are people in the body of Christ who have gone who have gone through and are going through the same exact thing because specific specific church folk are, are manipulating and working root work and witchcraft and divination and discord and sorcery against the union that God has ordained. Ah, but let me tell you, I hear a scripture that says, let no man separate what God has brought together. Let no man put asunder what God has joined together. Let no man. The Lord don't even want me to separate from my wife until he gives me, until he gives the permission to either me or her. But he's not given that permission because this is the hour of restoration. This is the hour of, this is the hour of uh, breakthroughs and manifestations of miracles and destiny and promotion. I don't know if y'all been watching, but I have been putting up videos lately about what my church, what my pastor has been saying. And it's been co confirmation to a lot of stuff that I've already spoke on Facebook or different videos I uploaded. Just different things that bring confirmation. But I'm here to say this. This is how you stop those who, it, this is how you find out if those people, those certain types of people are praying such prayers against your marriage, your union, your connection that you know without a shadow of a doubt that Yahweh has brought together. Um, I love my wife. I honor my, my wife. She's a powerful woman of God. But there are women out there who take too much on themselves and they don't have to. What am I saying? You have to know, you have to be be reading the word of the Lord to find out what a lie is. The word of the Lord is the truth. The enemy says anything outside of God's word or doesn't line up with God's word or doesn't bring confirmation from that, that you've heard from the word of God. They don't bring confirmation according to what you what you've heard. Okay. 
just know this. A true prophet never comes to tell you anything that you do not know. They, on, they always come to bring confirmation according to what's already in you or what you already have knowledge of or what you have may have been what you brought before God and God has spoken to you. Either way, it's divine. Confirmation is divine. It is never wayward. It is never foolish. It is never haphazardly. Um, the way you stop people from praying against your marriage or praying against you if you find out, number one, repent of any wrong you've done to anyone outside of you or to yourself because of some self issues repent for anything you've spoken over your marriage repent to anything of anything that you've spoken to your spouse or against your spouse behind their back or xyz in the third number two number three um Begin to thank God for your marriage and begin to thank God for the qualifications that he's given you for your marriage. Number five, or number four, uh, begin to ask the Holy Spirit, is there anyone you or your spouse is connected to that you should not be connected to? Begin to to ask Yahweh. Oh, let me take that back. Number five is cover your spouse. Pray for them. Release breakthroughs and miracles and peace over your, your spouse, over your marriage. Cover them in all aspects of their life according to how the Holy Spirit would have you or lead you to pray. Now, number six. Ask the Lord. Now you ask the Lord. And y'all can go back and watch this again if you want the, the tools. But the Lord has given me this as, as I'm giving this to y'all. Go back and ask the Lord, is there anybody, ask the Holy Spirit, is there anybody that is stopping you from connecting to your wife? Or is there anybody that's praying against you in your marriage? Or is there anybody that you and your spouse should not be connected to? And if and once he once he shows you, Go in prayer for those people. Now, I'm going to give you some wisdom, some prophetic nuggets. This is one good nugget. As you begin to go in and declare the word of God, not the word that you want to give, but according to as the Holy Spirit leads you to pray. You want to pray and cover those people who he reveals to you. And you want to pray for their deliverance. You want to pray for them to repent. You want to pray for them to to be wise you want to pray for them to receive wisdom you want to pray for them to walk in uh that you want to pray for them to be honored you want to give them the benefit of the doubt in prayer but you already know that don't mean don't love them but you already know who they really are your job is to stay pure so yahweh continue so yahweh and the holy spirit can continue to speak to you and give you clear wisdom okay once you do that, once you pray and you've gotten understanding and clarification concerning who those people are, number seven, be still, get quiet, don't move. Wait on him to speak to you about these people and what they are doing, how they are doing it. Wait on God to give the what, when, how, and where. Once you do, begin to write down those things. Amen, Kim Simmons. Bless you. And I speak much wisdom unto you since you responded to the word of the prophet, the apostle. May a prophet's and apostle's award be upon you. Says the Holy One. Wait on Yah to speak to you about the what, when, how, and where. Once He speaks to you, begin to ask the Holy Spirit to tell you 
what is what is the next move for you then whatever he tells you you wait on him and I hear him say watch me move once you wait watch me move But I'm here to tell y'all, I'm here to speak prophetically. Once I've spoken, then you move. says the Lord now he's speaking to me saying now you have done what I have spoken now he's telling me to begin to flow so that means there are some people he want to talk to that he want to give a personal prophecy to it ain't judgment I know I'm a prophet of judgment, but this ain't judgment. God wants to speak to some of you. So I'll start with one who's watching, Kim Simmons. Kim Simmons, was, when I see you, I see a basket. I see your name and I see a basket. And it's, it's like you're, you're waiting. I, I, I hear the word harvest. I hear the word harvest. I don't know what this means to you, but... I hear the Lord saying, you have broken through the problems. Now it's time to break through. Your breakthrough. I hear the Lord saying, you must be at peace. I hear the Lord saying, remain calm. Move when I say. And do what I say to you. Says the Lord. And that is the word for you. Kim Simmons there are more people there are six people watching right now but it's only two that are looking uh, David if you still watching Lord you got a word for David if y'all watching if you watching and you I don't see your name on the comment slot just chime in so I can know who you are let me know where you call where you coming from where you, where you at where you located and I shall prophesy to you there should be a word for you so if you're watching time in you don't want to miss it because I know y'all got a word for everybody that come on so but let's see Lord what you saying to David David, I hear the Lord saying that, that you are lonely, but the Lord said he's there. He's there. I hear the Lord saying he's coming to save you. Amen, Kim Simmons. Now I am coming. I hear the Lord saying there's a break for you.
there is a break for you. The Lord said he's going to heal all of your wounds. He's going to heal all of your wounds. There is one person on here, I don't know who it is, but they are sleepless. Somebody's not getting enough sleep. If I'm talking to the right person, if the, if, the whole, if the Lord is talking to the right person, if the Spirit of the Lord is talking to the right person, comment. Glory, glory to your name, Lord. Lord. Speak, Lord, <clears throat> for your word, you sent your word to heal, you sent your word to heal. Sent your word and deliver them. How you doing? That's you, Angela Price. Amen. That's confirmation. Now I repeat again: a prophet, a true prophet, or a true apostle, does not come to tell you anything that you don't know, but he comes to confirm what you already know. These are evidence. This is the evidence. I'm not boasting about myself. I give all glory to Yahweh. Vangela Price, how are you today? My question to you is, How you doing, Shalette? I'm Arachi. Uh, Vangela Price, the Lord said you are overworking yourself. And Shalette, I'm Arachi. I'm going to bring you on in just a second. I'm going to bring you on. I feel an unction to bring you on, but I'm going I'm to wait. But Vangela Price, the Lord said you, the Holy Spirit said you are overworking yourself. You are overworking yourself. You need to sleep as much as possible. I hear the Lord saying work as I hear the spirit of the Lord, forgive me, Lord. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, work as needed. Don't push yourself too much.
But I do hear this, work while it is day. On a spiritual note, to work while it is day. Work while it is day. That means you it's some stuff you there's a book you're supposed to be writing, Vangela. Why haven't you started? Breakthrough is in your obedience. There's a book you're supposed to be writing. The topic of discussion shall bring more money to you. And you need enough some finances. So there's an overflow waiting to happen. Financial breakthrough is coming to you depending upon your obedience. It says the spirit of the Lord. Bless you, Evangela Price. And that is the word of the Lord for you. Let's see. And Shalette, when you come on. Hello. Hey, bless you, Shalette. How you doing? Good, thank you. The spirit, of, the spirit of the Lord said he's waiting for you to write your book. You one of them, woman of God. Hello, I can hear you now. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord said he's waiting, he's waiting on you, waiting for you to finish or to write your book. There's also a breakthrough for you when you complete the assignment. I hear the Lord saying there's much, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying there's much work for you. Mm -hmm. The Lord says there's much work for you. I hear do not linger. There is wealth upon you. But stay prayerful. Says the job says the God of Jacob, Isaac, and Israel. Thy fathers before thee. Says the Lord.
And that's the word of the Lord for you. Mm -hmm. um, stay connected. I'm going to be doing more lives like this. I'm going to be releasing prophetic words as the Lord gave me permission to release them. So, but it was great talking to you. Uh, I'm going to move you. on. This thing else needs a word. You have a great and blessed okay. day. And you Thank obey you. the instructions of the prophet. You shall have a prophet's reward. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank soon. you. No problem. Bless you. If there's anybody else who's watching, okay, Kim, the Lord want me to bring you on. Oh, I know she's still on. If there's anybody else who needs a word and you're watching and you haven't visibly shown up, uh, Lord, what are you saying now? Hallelujah, I receive you, Lord, have your way, Lord. How you doing, Miss Queen Chan Chanel? Okay, uh, Miss Queen, the Lord want me to pray for you. You can cover your head, woman of God. Most women, when they, you know, what, what I've been taught, that women ought to have their head covered. But it's all good. The Lord want me to pray for you, though. So you can cover your hair. Put something over your hair. It don't have to be a a shower cap. You don't want to look like somebody on DC cabinet like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, um, yeah, you can cover your hair, and let me know when it's covered, and I will bring you on. You just put like a a cloth, like just regular cloth, like how the how the Israelite women used to look. You know. Amen. Lord, Okay. Give me one second, Miss Queen. I'm going to come back to you. The Lord want me to pray. Lord want me to pray for both of y'all. Kim, let me know and I'll bring you on. Hallelujah. Have thine own way. Ooh. My Lord, 
my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, Yeshua, my Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, my Lord, yes, you are my Lord, you're mine, I wouldn't trade you for nothing, Lord, we need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Miss Queen, the Lord said he's with you. He says he's with you. He says, I am with her. He said, now watch me do what I have spoken. Says the father. Kim Simmons, let me know when you're ready. One second, y'all. Okay, Kim, send me a uh, invite, a uh, request to come on. Lord, your prayer. It is right here. It is right here. It is right here. It's right here. You Lord, your will. Be done your will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
Y'all have to forgive me. I don't like biting my nails, but I do. I gotta have it. So pray for me. Hey, woman of God, how you doing? Beautiful. How are you? Bless, bless, bless. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna start by praying for you. Okay. Father God, in the powerful name of Yehoshua, Lord, let your name be glorified in our life, Father God. Let the anointing drop upon us today, Father God. This very day, Father God. Prom I hear, okay, promotion. I promoted you. Says Yah. No more turning sideways. No more turning aside. Let me do. Awesome works in your for you. I am pleased. Says Jehovah. Thank you. Be blessed, man of God. Amen. Amen. The Lord has promoted you. Or there's promotion waiting. Because you know, God always when he speaks prophecy, he deals with past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. So there's a promotion. There's promotion on you. So wherever you at with God, you've been obeying God, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so mm -hmm. continue to... There's promotion mm -hmm. written all over you. There's promotion all over you. So God is going to announce... He's going to announce it. I don't know if you, are you a part of a local ministry or a local church you submitted to yeah. a leader. Yes, sir. Has there been mm -hmm. words of confirmation that your promotion is coming? Um, no, I'm my pastor's adjutant, so it's it, you know, it's always been in my spirit, it's always been, you know. But you've been quiet and you've been humble. You've been humble. Yeah. Uh yeah, I feel more comfortable in a background person, basically, you know. So yeah, but I know the calling of of, of God, you know. But I just been waiting on the Lord and just obeying God, and, you know. Amen. Going where he leads me, basically. Going where he leads me. Amen. So, there's promotion on you. So, I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's, it is... God is going to... He's, he's promoted you in the spirit realm. But the manifestation of it in the natural is coming next. It's coming soon. Mm -hmm. There's a breakthrough on you as well. Mm. This week, I don't know. This week, I don't know if you're expecting something this week. You've been praying about something for this week. Somebody's giving you a word about this week or God has spoken to you about this week. But there's something that there's a breakthrough for you this week. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I hear there's miracles on you. Yeah.
I hear for you to sow into this anointing right now. So whatever mm -hmm. whatever the Holy Spirit directs you or leads you, he put upon your heart to sow, where to sow. It don't have to be me. But he says sow into this anointing mm -hmm. that you that you are that you are in the presence of right now. And he says, watch what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's somebody coming to bless you. I don't know who this person is, but somebody's coming mm -hmm. to bless you. Mm -hmm. I hear it won't be long. And I hear the, I hear... I hear the father say, and know that I am pleased with you. Amen. And that's the word of the Lord for you. So I'm going to go ahead and close with prayer for you. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Lord God, I come to you right now, Lord God, and I pray against any backlash, vindication, retaliation concerning this word, Father. In the name of Yeshua, let the blood of Yeshua cover her. Let it cover her house, her finances, her ministry, wherever she's at, her car. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, let, let, let her surround it. Excuse me. Let her surroundings come subject to the authority of God. In the name of Yeshua, and as she be, as she comes even more subject to her pastors, Father God, let miracles and breakthroughs come for her even the more quickly, Father, speedily, Father. In the name of Yeshua, I pray. Surround her with your angels. I command Michael and Raphael to guard her everywhere she goes. In the powerful name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Lord, send angels to watch her unguarded. Her unguarded hour, every unguarded hour, every unwatched hour, in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, bring reinforcement, Father, in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, the Lord, the majesty, your majesty, Lord God, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Lord, you're worthy, Lord, you're worthy. You worthy, you worthy of all the glory. You worthy. Rebe na maya rebe ramare manara me yebiro ramare be. Ramaye Ramaya Ye In the mighty name of Yeshua We thank you Lord God We glorify you Lord We praise you We bless you It is in your son name Father We pray Yeshua Hamashiach Thank God Amen Amen you Be blessed man of God have a blessed day And get, get some rest All right Amen. Okay, Kim. If you're still on, send me an invite. Amen.
Judah Millions. How you doing, Judah? Okay, Judah, Millions, Cromer, the Lord wants you to study more. He wants you to study the word of God. You know, when we receive an inheritance, before we get an inheritance, we have to read the will in order to know what our inheritance is. As you be, I declare and decree unto you that as you begin to read the will of the Lord, 